Okay. We'll see. And if not, then, then I oop. I mean, we have seen this matchup kind of play out before between Noku and um, ZTN before. ZTN, I believe, kind of winning the exchange and a lot of game threes and sometimes two O's, I want to say. But this ain't no oh Noku. Oh my god. It's the quid. This is the quid game down here. Definitely looking to keep up this phenomenal ledge trap going. No damage taken whatsoever. And yeah, the Squirtle still playing real hot, but who's the confidence to kind of run up with that up, that down throw. Wasn't able to get a whole lot off of it, but that's still something. And another one! Yeah. Zelda may be the one with the the game uh, known as Tears of the Kingdom out, but uh, looks like Squirrel's out here turning on the waterworks. Yeah, Squirtle's definitely pumping them out here. And see, throwing the tears right at him, all the water. I like this strategy too. It just pushes your opponent back into the corner of the blast zone as they're kind of forced to just make their recovery back, maybe even have to readjust their game plan just a little bit. And Quid using the Ivysaur to kind of play outside of the range of Phantom is definitely going to be doing him a lot Are of you dead? favors here. No. And, uh, you know, I was about to say, ZTM might be eating a reversal for that one. Yeah. A little too far out from but, ZTM there. But I get it, you know, you kind of have to go for the stock where you, where it's kind of there. But you can still just hold the ledge, play it very safe against the Ivysaur, or um, the Charizard in that case and everything. And just get the stock that way. Quid could definitely go down once you combine the Twinkle Toes into the mix. But now Quid has, no, gets the reverse off the Nehru's love there. And now you're setting up for the Vine Whip chase. Definitely looking to trap with maybe an up air or the Vine Whip. Oh my! Yeah. Alright, no. Nah. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Just walks up slowly in Twinkle Toes. Yeah, I this this Squirtle definitely just just gonna do some work. It's, it's definitely gonna go to town. There you go, run up DP, get your damage off. And ZTN trying to go for the reversal, worked out a little bit, but what was that interaction? What was that? A war crime. A war crime from who? From Zelda or from Squirtle? From Squirtle. What the heck? All right then. ZTN takes it down to last stock off the Squirtle. Kind of dying You're real You're getting back here. You're getting back here. You're getting back here. Okay, never mind. Nah, ops to go for the Squirtle. Definitely looking to get the tech chase, but no. ZTN not really giving it to Quid right now. Making himself harder for Quid to, for uh, Z, ZTN to hit is definitely an interesting move. Yeah, we still I have think, the final. Yeah, I, I get it. it. I get the Ivy Search your pick. Like, you know, just uh, out, uh, just win the projectile war against uh, ZTN here. But he's getting up air. He, like, I smell it. You, I, that is a smelly smell. Yeah? Back. Oh! Wow. oh All right, there's no! one game. There's one game. You know, ZTN smiling. He's like. Uh, I robbed this bro and I robbed Quinn and broad daylight out here. That was a perfect like that was the perfect F tilt to uh, parry punish. That that was great. That that was honestly great. And you know, not struggling off that confidence that Quid had too. Just playing so good with their movement and everything. The phenomenal advantage state. But alright. I think they're going to be taking things to small battlefield here. The smallest battlefield. The smallest of battlefields. With, um, you know, a song from one of the worst franchises in this game. Arms. Yeah. Just actually, like, mid all around. Mid music. Mid, mid uh, mid, mid, like, <laughs> well. It's uh, mid. I wish, I wish Min Min was mid here. Or mid ass, like, inclusion for sure. Uh, yeah, mid ass stage. If only they gave it the love that uh, it could have had. It, it was neat for like a week or so. 
and then that was just it. That's just the game. I'm throwing arms, throwing hands. There's not much depth to it, yeah. Um. Anywho. You can tell they got Ooh. the. Like, I don't. Who the fuck is even choosing arms music off of, uh, uh, like, you know, themselves? Like, they, they, you know, they got that song off I don't random. Know. Min Min Mains? Arm Mains? I don't know. Or someone that just thinks the song Min -min is gas? Mayor, Min Min players don't like arms? Let's be fucking for real for a second. Yo, I need to know who, who plays Min Min and genuinely plays or enjoys arms? Oh my god, nice conversion. Say what you want about Steve, man. Do you know they, they like are all about that Minecraft? Okay, say? but like Minecraft is actually a good ass game. Everybody enjoys that. Of course. Everyone, Steve Main actually enjoy playing their their character, or um, the playing the game and that character. They're like, no, yeah, I was genuinely excited for Minecraft Steve Within. You're you're on to something there as well, though. Oh, Steve players at least like their character. Do mid mid players actually enjoy a mid mid, or do they just like winning? Be no, they love winning. They love winning. They, they they just they just have Sora secondaries or some other bullshit secondary. <laughs> okay, now we're really. <laughs> I was not <laughs> taking it there. I was not uh, like directly e calling out Vic. Just hey, and why do? <laughs> what are you talking about? Who are you talking about? Uh, nah, <laughs> you know exactly what you're doing. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Who who's another Min Min main that has a secondary? Uh, that's actually good. That's oh, good. oh wait, there's Jules. The, oh my god, that was nice. Jules, yes, the Steve, it, it meant me. Anyways, um. There's uh, Pink Fresh. To Jules. Uh, Whoa, no more. There's Pink Fresh. Pink Fresh plays Sora too. Pink Fresh? Uh, okay, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> Shade def <laughs> afflicted successfully. Yeah, um, you, did, did you not know? Pink Fresh played um, Sora for quite a bit in MDVA, and I think he recently switched over back to Min Min, I want to say? I don't know, but all right. Uh, Quid, like, you know, making a convincing uh, statement with that game, too. Okay. Uh, yeah, we talked we talk about Min for that entire game. That's, that's how much we hate arms. Yeah, wow. We, we, damn. <laughs> damn. Got some strong words for arms. It was a neat game, though. I think that's it was like. I think that's one of the, the cool concepts, like with the Nintendo Switch, like playing with the motion controls and everything. But then, like, the more you play it, it's just like, damn, this this kind of sucks. Eh. Like with the Taiko, like with the rhythm games, you can like simulate just playing them eh. with like Taiko and like Project Diva and stuff like that, or Groove Poster. It's like, yeah, it's not the best. You rather just go to the arcade and kind of play it out that way. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It, like, it was a, it was a game of all time. Yeah, it was the game of all time. I like Clubhouse Games is a good example though of like using the um, the Joy-Con and everything. That is sick. Game a a number uh, three. Now this is whether or not like I feel like this is where, where like you know, my prediction like you know uh, either gets made or broken. If like ZTN doesn't take this game three, I don't see him taking game four either. If he does take eight this game three though, then yeah, I see like you know, Quid still responding like uh, by taking game four and game five. My my bet here is Quid kills in two interactions. Okay, we'll find out. Are you dead? Nope. Damn it. <laughs> that was, that was almost, it was almost there. But all right, keeping the center, keeping point with the Ivysaur. Throwing back the Razor Leafs and looking to get the down air. Oh, there again, you, no, you, you started that teleport a little too close to the ledge, buddy. You better watch yourself. Ooh, yeah, and Quid knows that. He has Ooh. to kind of go for those aggressive. Oh, you are eating shit right now, my boy. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ZTN throwing up an F smash, but it's not going to do the trick just yet. And I do like how, oh my god, went far what out there the for that one. What fuck? the heck? I did not know Zelda could get away with that. That is some I bullshit. Guess, I guess she can. I guess she can. You learn something new every day. I mean, there's not many Zelda All players right. out there that I know. There's like oh. Atlas, and then there's the one other European Zelda. Oh, I feel like he could have gotten a little more, or like probably could have gotten a dash trap. I don't know why he just sell for a dash trap there. But, eh. Yeah, I like all these empty movements, trying to just get an approach. 
maybe to find the right mark to kind of convert into that Vine Whip, and there you go. Yep. Nicely done coming from Quick. A two-piece combo for the victory. And ooh. Wow, perfect whip punch coming from Quid. Yeah, and keeping up a solid corner carry as well. But yep, solid 53% off of that. Like, oh, wow. ZZN had the down air right there, but that was a very strange timing to kind of not go for that. Quid's like under ledge stalls are so scary that I get it. Oh, this could be it right here. Yeah, conditioning that downwards recovery, but oh. K, ZTN still hanging on. The F tilt still keeping him at bay here. Quid already knowing that ZTN wants to jump for a reversal or something to get back to stage. And wow. It's like what you were saying. Doing around there, er, boy? It's like you were saying. Quid is the master of those understage reversal recoveries. And just in general. Yep. You're always catching you slipping. All right, well. So far, it's looking like your bet is. Uh, Making the cut. And it looks like my prediction is about to come to fruition. Yeah, we're, we're about to see. On game four here on Pokemon Stadium 2, this might be the potential last game for ZTN. But like we were saying before. What the fuck? Up tilt F smash. I, I, Ew! I guess low percent combos in this bitch. I guess so. I, I, I guess so. All right. Um. Let's uh move on. Um. So far, ZTN getting juggled again. Not having a good time. Like you know, getting his feet on the ground. Yeah. I already know ZTN definitely looking to enact a masterful plan with this adaption that they got going on. But still, they are while they're able to keep things even. Quid has one of the nastiest corners games in the business. I'm, and you, I, I'm just realizing something. Quid's use of, of Warrior ah! Gun is even more brilliant than I realized. Oh, what the? however, yeah, that was a fumble. But okay, Ow. so I'm noticing Quid's use of Warrior Gun to uh, this position, Zelda while she's setting up Phantom, is brilliant because that actually limits uh, ZTN's um, options for trapping so hard that he that. That like Quake can just play around Phantom, which is much, much simpler. Yeah, it is pretty damn good. It's a, a thing you really want to go for in this matchup to kind of just maybe condition the certain punish on a recovery or just, like you said, take out the Phantom of the equation entirely. Manages to just barely avoid getting caught by uh, the, the Squirtle Aerials. Yeah, I know Quid definitely looking to fiend for the tech chase. He does get ZTN in the corner though, setting up for this Ivy Sword to be in position to get the F Smash or maybe a down air. But no. Still trying to keep it up. I feel like that was supposed to be an air out shield, but uh, ZTN fucked up the execution. Ow. Wow, good usage of uh, Nehru's love. Sends it right back to you. Yep, winning the projectile war. Whoa, yep. And now, excellent choice from ZTO. Actually, great adaptation in general. Yeah, in, in this situation, Quid wow. just going for the high recovery, not wanting to deal with any of that Zelda ledge trapping in question. But here comes the Charizard. Definitely looking to take one off these huge disjoints in that amazing kill power. Actually gets punished on hit even at that late percent because it was the sour spot affair. Let it be known. If you don't, don't land those exactly. Watch out! He's got a reversal! Yeah, there you go. There it is. I'm very surprised that ZTN didn't really opt to go for um, lightning kicks in that corner. There it is, though. Yeah, there you go. Alright. Last stock. This, like, it's make or break here. ZTN's got to pull off some magic. We're, we're going to see. My heart's pumping. I'm not, like, this is, this is a, it, oh, he's yeah. not going to fall for the same tricks twice. And ZTN has switched into that kind of last stock situation mode where they really play defensive and turtle up in the corner with the phantoms and everything. Well, they kind of force their opponent to make the move. But right now, Quid oh, put yeah. in the work to this guy right now. That could have been it, but you still got one more ledge trap to go through potentially. Oh, no! Oops. Not, not quite. 
I don't know, man. I feel like ZTN's like actually like starting to freeze up a little bit. Like he's like definitely starting to like just clench up a little bit and like. Oh. There it is. Yeah. yeah. Razor Leaf into uh, Uppy. Looks like your prediction was correct. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I like that second. I like the no follow up on that uh, that first Razor Leaf, knowing that.